In this video, I'll show you how to add a custom skin in Minecraft Bedrock. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And let's jump straight into this guide. Here we are on Minecraft Bedrock and let's go and get into adding a custom skin. So what you need to do is come to the home screen of Minecraft Bedrock and go to the right hand side where it says your name and dressing room. So go and tap on dress room because this is where we can go and basically change our skin. So there's a few different ways you can go and add custom skins. The first way you probably want is to be able to upload a skin, for example, like you'd upload a skin in Minecraft Java. Come over to the right hand side and go and tap on this hanger icon, also known as the classic skin button, to tap here. Then as you can see, it does say you're switching over to classic skins and essentially these can't be customized within Minecraft Bedrock. So if you want to make sort of further customizations, then you should go and use a, a Minecraft Bedrock skin. So, but if you want to upload one, then this is where you need to be. So hit OK and then you're here. Then to go upload and add a custom skin, what you need to do is go and tap on this gray skin under own skins, just like so. And once that's highlighted, you're going to go notice a choose new skin button appear on the right hand side. As you can see, it says import an image from your device to use as your skin. This will not sync between devices or games. So this is only going to, going to work on um, Minecraft Bedrock on your computer and Minecraft Bedrock on your mobile as well. And when you go and press choose new skin, your file explorer will open. However, you may not actually have a skin yet. So I want to show you where you can go and get custom skins from. So a website I used to get custom skins is called Skindex. So come here and there are loads of different skins you can go and look at, people upload. In this case, I'm gonna go and test out this goblin skin. So I'm gonna go and tap on it just like so. Then go over to the right hand side and go and tap on down download and the download will then begin. Now it's downloaded, it's going to be in my downloads folder. Let's go back to Minecraft Bedrock. And then once you're back in Minecraft Bedrock, what you need to do is come to the right hand side and go and press on choose new skin and your file explorer will open up. Navigate to your downloads folder and go and find the skin you just downloaded. Then click on it and go and press open just like so. Then as you can see, we've got these two options. You can go and choose the model. In this case, I want the one on the right hand side, but some skins are going to be specifically made um, depending on the model, but this one's fine for me. And there we go. We've now gone and added a custom skin. And just to quickly explain, you can also make custom skins within Minecraft Bedrock as well. So you come over to the left hand side and go and tap on this option here, character creator. You'll get this message here saying character creator allows you to build a character in Minecraft item by item. And because we've got a classic skin, because we imported it, it's going to be as a backup um, so you can go and press OK. So yeah, you can go and fully build a skin using all the bases and things like that. However, I, just like you, I prefer to go and upload a skin just like this here. So there we go guys, we can now go and go out of this and we can go and play Minecraft with our classic skin. If you found this useful, please go down below and consider leaving a like. Peace.